I've got a question for, for a colleague of mine. It's, it's about Teddy Bridgewater. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. And just, I mean, you were there when it happened. And what was the feeling around practice? And how might you feel knowing, you know, that he is back at where he belongs in, in, in being a starter in Carolina? Um, <clears throat> light story. Uh, that day in practice, I'll never forget it. Uh, I was running a post. Like I was thinking, I think he was about to, I think it was one of my plays. Like I was about to catch a post. He's ready to chuck it. I'm running downfield. Uh, and I hear just like, oh, like one of those kind of situations. And I didn't even turn back for a second. I just kind of kept running. And then uh, when I look back, Teddy's on the ground. You kind of could hear a pin drop in the middle of a grass field at that moment. It was, that's how quiet it was. And usually, you know, when that, when a guy goes down, like you kind of move it up a little bit, keep practice going, they kind of, they shut practice down. So, you know, it was pretty bad. Um, everybody, everybody was real distraught. Like I was, I was pretty sad about that at that, at that time. More so, as a peer, as a brother, um, to know that a guy that does everything right, you know, a guy that grinds and works his butt off to go down in the practice off of like a handoff type of situation. Uh, it, was def- it was definitely uh, unfortunate at that moment. I remember like everybody was hurt in practice. Everybody was in the locker room like, damn, that's the season. You know, uh, things aren't looking good. You know, we we had we were working our way towards that that team camaraderie that that thing like that, uh, and it kind of like uh, fell short when he got hurt. But to see his his story um, now come full circle it was motivating, especially considering the fact when he came back, you know, he he had a crazy knee injury. You know, people didn't even think he'd play football again. Uh, he fought through that. He definitely was a guy that I thought uh, at that point in time was thought to be a hundred million dollar quarterback. You know, worth every penny, worked hard, did everything right. And uh, to see it come full circle and get his chance, his chance again, and he shined and he shined in New Orleans. In New Orleans, he showed that he was a he was a starting quarterback. He can start in this league. He 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 plays extremely well. So uh, to see him get his real shot again is definitely a story to remember and something that I guess we all can kind of take heed to. Just keep pushing and stay motivated. And and now just to the Bills, how much are you? How eagerly are you looking forward to, you know, playing, making your debut with the Bills this weekend? Uh, I mean, I would say since I got traded, I haven't stopped thinking about playing ball. Uh, I've been looking forward to it. Definitely something that uh, carrying a big chip on my shoulder. Um, I've been extremely excited. It's been it's been great working with my my new teammates. You know, the guys are, it's, it's it's a it's a uh, it's a real thing when they say you got a great group of guys. You know, great group of young men all fighting for one goal, trying to win, and kind of seeing it in practice each and every day. We compete at a high level, and uh, I'm looking forward to the game. Sorry for hogging this um, to my colleagues, but why a big chip? Why a big chip on your shoulder? I, I carry it every year. Um, this year is no different. Um, I'm looking forward to it, especially with a new journey, new challenge each and every year. And this one, um, is, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm eager. I'm, I'm ready. Thank you. Hey, Stefan, it's Kim Jones from NFL. What's Network. up? How, can you hear me all right? Yeah, I got you. I got like six questions for you, but out of respect for everyone, including you, I'm going to ask you one. Just one, I'll give you two, I'll give you two, I'll give you two. Okay. When I was at training camp just for two days, I was struck by A, your precision as a receiver. I'm not sure I've ever seen someone (laughs) that committed to every step being perfect. But I was also struck that you and Josh already seem to have a really natural chemistry. So. What do you make of all of that, that it, it seems to have come together? Um, it's still in the early phases. You know, we haven't played any ball yet. So I kind of like don't want to, you know, never want to put your foot in your mouth. But I contributed to spending as much time that we have, you know, all the call of duty, all the meeting time, all the, uh, the kind of hanging out and learning one, each other, one another. And uh, the practice time, we, we, it's serious out there. We kind of take it one step at a time, one play at a time. But uh, one thing I can say is he got a lot of heart. He got a lot of heart, and the guy wants to be great. And kind of like feeding off of that, and kind of like uh, just being their support as a supportive cast, as one of the one of the guys supporting them, pushing them, and kind of just you know being doing my job, you know, being me. Being you, did you say? Yeah, yeah, just being me. Okay. I just try to bring a lot of positive energy and um, bringing that bringing that competitive nature to practice and trying to win at everything. I'll sneak a second one in since you allowed me. Thank you so much. When I, I watch you and Tredavious White together, yeah. I think to myself, something tells me they're making each other better out there. Yeah. What was that like? What is that like? <laughs> it's an everyday thing, um, a nonstop battle between me and him. He, he probably won't tell you, but me and him go at it each and every day. We both want to win every single rep. I don't care what it is. 
and uh, it's a constant competition. It's kind of good. It's good for your team to have that, especially with guys on both sides of the ball. Um, and we're not going to stop. It's not going to stop no time soon. So uh, it's fun. Thank you. See you Sunday. No doubt. Steph Finesse, Mookie Hawkins, Waffle Sports What's 1080, up? man. How you doing? What's up, big guy? I'm good. How you doing? Hanging in there, man. Um, just to piggyback a little bit off what Kim was saying in reference to going against Trey White and, you know, this uh, top defense here. How yeah. has that, um, you know, pretty much sharpened the tools so far in training camp? It's been good. Uh, they had like the old saying that says iron sharper iron. And, you know, uh, going against one of the best defenses in the league, in my opinion, you know, and the statistics say what, it, what they say. But they're, they're a team out there. They're feeding off of one another. They play with a lot of energy. And each and every day we try to uh, we try to stump that, I guess. Or as an offense, you wanna you wanna uh, you wanna you don't wanna beat up on them or nothing like that, because you know everybody's giving it their best shot. But uh, you wanna have some execution at a high level from the offensive side, just to let them know uh, when game time come around, you get a three and out, or y'all out there giving everything y'all got, we got y'all back too. So it's a constant competition, a healthy competition. So that's Absolutely. And um, Bills were want to know what are the experience you learned in Minnesota. That would help you in Buffalo. Um, I spent a lot of time out there. You know, uh, it was I. I was a young player out there. I learned. I learned a lot out there as far as uh, you know, committing to success. Um, we we had some good years there. We had some bad years there. Um, but as far as like learning your teammates, learning to be around them, and always you know fighting through adversity. So that kind of like gave me you know going into my new situation. I kind of always fought through adversity, the good and the bad. Rock with your guys. So coming here. Uh, we know everything won't be roses and daisies. You know, it's going to be adversity. Adversity will hit, but uh, how will you face adversity? You know, will you be a positive light or will you be a guy, you know, down in the dumps with your head down? So kind of like just more carryover than anything. Absolutely, man. I uh, can't wait to see you go off Sunday, man. The city's happy you're here. Good luck. Appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Stefan, Thad Brown here. Thanks for doing this. Um, you've seemed very vocal in practice, whether it's, you know, small private meetings or, you know, being loud and firing guys up and all that stuff. How much different is that than how you were back in Minnesota? Because when you started there, you know, you're a low round draft pick. You come here, you know, on the other end of a first round yeah. four draft pick trade. It's a different deal. Yeah, uh, it's, you, you're working from the car, too. So you're, you're, you're doing what you're gotta do, man. I'm, I'm just messing. Uh, I would say, yeah, kind of um, going into my I'm going into my sixth year. I was a young player there. You know, you got to earn your keep. My thing is more so earning the respect of your peers, earning the respect of your coaches. And I kind of carried that same thing over here. Uh, in the beginning, it wasn't too much talking, just more so working. But as far as like wanting to be a leader on this team and wanting to um, be a spark for the guys around you and kind of like uh, coming from a different perspective, because I'm an older guy now. I'm not a young guy. And I believe that your actions speak louder than words, but it's nothing wrong with adding a little as far as like, you know, going some back and forth with a guy, especially on your side, um, what you saw, what you're learning from. And, you know, I'm still learning, but I kind of try to teach uh, everything I can, you know, give everybody the tools for their toolbox and try to take some of theirs. So uh, as far as like being a leader, it's just like, I just want to bring the competition level, you know, competing at a high level and a little bit of words here and there. Do you like it? Because it seems like you're really reveling in being in that role. Yeah, I, lo I love it. You know, as far as like, it, it, it keeps you accountable. You know, keeps you accountable and from the standpoint of um, you, can't be, you can't be talking if you ain't doing the right stuff, but uh, more so uh, open up in the level of competition each and every rep, each and every play, each and every day. Uh, I feel like it's going to it's going to end up well. Awesome, man. Appreciate it. No doubt. Hey, Stefan Marceau, the ESPN. How you doing, man? I got you. I can't see you, though. Where you at? You can't see me? Nah. Stuck on. I can see I got me. You now. OK, I was about to say, man, don't do this to me. Okay. But, uh, you know, we hear we heard Brandon Bean talk the other day that he's not willing to say this team is on track. This franchise is on track yeah. until that AFC East title is back in Buffalo. Yeah. So uh, I'm curious, how has that res that message resonated through the building? What what are your expectations? What are the um, you know, what is the sense of, of the team's expectations since you got here? I uh, just yeah. wanted to hear it in your own words. Um, it, it's trickled down 100. percent They got they have Sands all around for like playoff caliber and you know having championship effort on a daily basis. Uh, it trickles down. You know we we expect to play well because we want to you know we want to practice well. You want to execute at a, at a high level. You want to do everything right. You want to you know as far as like just fundamentally being fundamentally sound and executing. That's the number one deal. So I'm not a guy that you know goes out and goes in 
with the expectation of uh, like, I want this to happen. I want that to happen. You got to make it happen. And each and every day, you just one small step to the, in, the, in the right direction to me, at least. So um, I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's the first game this week, but we got two more days of practice to keep stacking these bricks. And uh, you know, it can be one to know this week. You know, just trying to do everything we can to put ourselves in the best position to win. And, and following up on that, I mean, you say yourself, you're a guy that plays with a chip on his shoulder. This is the franchise that's had a tough 20 years, man. But at this point, I think it's safe to say the Buffalo Bills have a chip on their shoulder as well when it comes to, you know, looking for respect from the league. Does this kind of seem like a like a match made in heaven for you? Does this seem like a pretty good, yeah, you know, especially good franchise for you to be part of? A hundred percent. Definitely coming from, you know, I, went, I was drafted in the fifth round, came from uh, not a small school, but a school that people counted out then. Um, it's like it – it aligns itself, I guess. You know, this is a good situation uh, for me. And the guys that are around me play with a chip on their shoulder. A lot of guys, late round guys, not too many first round guys, a lot of guys with something to prove each and every day. So uh, I, I think it's gelling well.